the term utilitarianism to me is like the most perfect term for this theory as possible. Because a lot of times people, what you'll find is, is, is it's always a little bit of an annoyance to me, but you'll have professors uh, perhaps who will sit there and say like, oh, you know, make sure to utilize your textbook, you know, utilize this, utilize that. And they'll say this word utilize. And the problem I have with the term utilize in using it in that regard, uh, the, 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 the problem I have with that using it that way is that A, it's sort of a big word to try to you say use, which why don't you just use the three letter word U-S-E to do it. But the other side of the coin is, is utilize actually means to make use of something, that you're trying to make use of something. The idea here is is that it's something for which the thing wasn't originally intended. That if you utilize something, it's not just that you're using it, it's that you're making use of it. That you're using it in a way in which it was not originally intended. So for example, your textbook is supposed to be used for the course, for studying for the course. So to utilize it would be suggesting that your textbook was not for that purpose. That you were making use of it in a way in which it was not intended. And that's not the case. You are using it for the purpose that's set out. Now this comes back to utilitarianism because it's using this term, make use. And the idea here is, is you're making use of your actions in a way that benefits others. And what happens here is that the idea here is, is that the actions themselves, they're not right or wrong. There's no like right thing to do. There's no wrong thing to do. There's just how you use them. That you know you can make use of them in a way that makes the world better. You can make use of them in a way that makes the world worse. And the idea is you utilize them. And the point is, is that with utilitarianism, the actions aren't right or wrong in them themselves. Murder isn't wrong in of itself. You know, helping others isn't right or wrong in of itself. What makes it right or wrong is the fact that you are using it. That you are that you are doing the action and it brings about a positive or negative consequence. And so utilitarianism is not about the consequence or about, it's not about the action itself having any purpose or any good or bad in and of itself. It's about it having good or bad based upon what use it is put towards. The idea here is with utilitarianism, it's all about the end result. It's all consequences. The ends justify the means. You know, is it wrong to kill? Well, most of the time, no. But if you kill Hitler, I don't know that that's wrong. You know, I mean, if you do it, if the end is a positive, then I'm not sure it's wrong. I mean, you know, you know, if you're, you know, is it wrong to kill? Yeah, it's wrong to kill. But is it wrong to kill somebody who's trying to kill your family? I don't think so. Is it wrong to kill, uh, a, you know, a, a dictator? No. It's not wrong to kill a dictator, you know, it, it, it's a good thing, right? And so if you use the killing to do good, then killing's not bad, it's actually good. And so what utilitarianism is, is it's saying really the end result is what makes the action good or bad. It's not the action itself. The killing is not good or bad itself. It is the consequences that come out of it. 